Middleton from Pueblo South with Unified Bowling. I have a couple of uh, spirit competitors, Kayla Bryant from Cherokee Trail and Sydney O'Donnell from Denver East, and a couple of gymnasts, Riley Starling of Palmer Ridge and Isabella Gee. Did I get that right? Gee or G? It's G. It's G, okay. Had 50-50 and I missed, but she's from Lakewood, so uh, we'll open it up to questions, and, and men and women, if they refer you to a question, pick up the microphone and speak into that so we can hear you well. So we'll open it up. Dennis, go ahead. It's for Izzy. I know you talked about after winning the all around last year, that that was your goal as a freshman. You really kind of focused on what's your goal now? You've won it. Um, what's your goal going into your senior year now? Um, I think my goals are relatively the same. I'm hoping to do just as well as I did last year, as well as helping my team accomplish the best we can do. Talk about that team, too. I mean, you guys finished second, and it's been a while since. Lakewood's been up there, it's been a Pomona kind of driven there when it comes to Jeffco, but how important is that to, to maybe look at trying to go for that team title this year too? Um, well, like you said, we did get second as a team, and that was just really incredible seeing all my teammates' reactions, and I am hoping that we will do just as well this year, if not better, and hopefully take home the state title. This is for Kayla and Sydney. Talk about the growth and maybe the explosion of spirit. I mean, it's one of the biggest events, the state tournament. What's, what's that feel like to be part of? Um, I think that's a great question. I think it's definitely an immaculate and really energetic feeling um, when you go out and you just get to lead the crowd and be a part of something bigger and you get to stay positive and keep the energy up. I think it's exploded into something great and people have realized how, like, the extreme impact it makes in the game. Um, I think it's so incredible that to our schools we're representing like football, we're cheering them on at games, but then we also now have the competitive side and we have our own and it's incredible that we get into both and people are now seeing that we do both and get to do everything. Yeah. And how, how grueling is it? I mean it's a hard sport. Yes, and I don't think some people notice that. It's so difficult because we have game day practices and then we also have competition practices. Like currently we're working on our competition pieces while getting ready for all the football games coming up and it's a big juggle and you have to definitely have time management for it. Yeah, I totally agree. I, don't, I think people underestimate the amount of hours and time and energy and effort we put in. I think it's great. I think we benefit a lot and we wouldn't change it for the world. We love it to death. Um, but it definitely is a lot of work and it takes a lot of time and dedication and there's a lot you don't see. This one's for uh, Giovanni in a moment. How much work do you guys put in to, for that competition aspect and how fun is that when you guys are really competing um, at bowling and, and have other teams that you're going against? Um, I definitely think is like we're not there to compete. We're just there to have some fun against other team because I will say that I would like to thank Mr. Critchett for helping us out. I mean, it takes a while. I mean, my first year doing it, it took me a while to do it. It was hard. But it was really fun, though. Others? Go ahead, Steve. What, what was so difficult about it for you? I will say, well, I guess trying to knock down all the pins, but I can only guess there. <laughs> We've all been there. Okay. Other questions, Brad? Uh, question for Riley. You guys were up in the top three last year. What is it about this year's team that you think might allow you guys to stay up there among the top teams in the state? And what are you guys focused on most this season? Well, this season we've been focusing on getting a lot of new girls, obviously, but we honestly, with the past two years, we've just been trying to keep our spirits up no matter how the scores come out. We've been just been trying to cheer everyone as loud as possible, and hopefully, I mean, two years ago we came in second, and then we worked even harder this year, and we still beat our highest team score ever, so we're just hoping that this year we can 
beat it again and hopefully take first for 4A. <laughs> and for you, you've been right right there um, just off the podium for a bunch of events, almost all of them. What have you been focused on most this season? If you're going to get up there, which would be your top event? I would say my top event, I am a beam lover. I love balance beam. And so every year I try and push myself as hard as I can to just keep the cleanest routine possible and to get the highest number and be that number one girl for beam for my team. This one's for Izzy. Um, grueling sport, physical sport, gymnastics it is. And then obviously you've got a lot of those club girls who don't compete with the high school. Why have you stuck with it? Um, I know you injuries and obviously it, it's, a, it's a big aspect of gymnastics, but why have you continued to compete for a Yeah, um, so I actually did take a break from gymnastics for a while, but I ended up coming back to the high school sport because I just loved how much it was a team sport versus an individual one, and I just thought that having your teammates there to support you just helped like make all the pressure kind of go away and so I came back and stuck with it because the team is just incredible and I love being around like the energy. And what keeps you motivated Izzy because like Dennis said you won the whole banana last year what keeps you motivated to, to, to push your body to go through what it takes to do gymnastics? Um, well practice makes perfect and I think just being with people who understand how much of a struggle it is and how hard it is to keep going encourages me to keep going and to keep pushing myself to be my best. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Good luck this year.